Hello there and welcome back to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this fantastic little mushroom house in your world. It has a full interior which I'll be showing you later and also there is a world download available for this world with this and the other builds uh, available through my discord. So don't go anywhere and let's get on with the video. Here's the list of all of the items that you'll need for the build, including the interior, so pause the video now to check them out. Here's the footprint for the build. It does fit in a 14 by 14 space. Now the section in the middle where we're going to be building the mushroom stem is 9 by 9 to start with, uh, and the very middle block is the one that's just between the, that uh, soul sand and that magma block. So make sure you fill in with oak planks the flooring that we've got here. You don't need to fill in the white, that just is a representation of where the stem and the walls are going to go. So yeah, make sure you've paused the video so you know where everything is, and let's get building. Because this is a very organic build, I'm doing something slightly different on this video, and I am showing you the entire block placement of all of the blocks within the build itself. I've sped the footage up to uh, three times its normal speed, but you can use the settings inside uh, the YouTube viewer to actually slow this down if it is too fast for you. Uh, so what I'm doing here uh, is using predominantly the white concrete blocks to actually fill in the main bits of the stem and then using the stairs to taper the stem inwards and also using some mushroom stem blocks and some bone blocks to add a bit of variety to the white concrete. In the middle of the build I am using uh, some of the white stained glass to actually surround uh, the bubble vata area so around the soul sand and around the magma and also going to be using some fence gates to hold the water back so just adding different layers on on that build. As I step up through the build, I'm also here and there adding some additional glass for some windows in, in there. So bear in mind that there are, uh, there are some windows. You can obviously add more windows if you want to be able to see out the stem a bit more. And there are quite a lot of windows that will go into the cap on top of the mushroom as well when we get there. Now one thing that I don't show in this is uh, actually filling up the bubble vaters but make sure that you go through. You can either use one water source and some kelp or just lots of buckets of water to fill up those. As soon as you've got the fence gates in you can do that as you go if you want or you can do that all at the end. But remember with that each one uh, you do need a water source in each one of the blocks for that to work. Moving up now to start on the cap of the mushroom, uh, then I'm going to be using some of the white concrete uh, when I'm doing this in order to be able to place uh, some temporary blocks. So you'll be able to see the temporary blocks by the fact that I use the white concrete on the edge and then I will obviously remove those. The main blocks that we're using here are the stripped acacia wood, which is the one with the nice end, so you can place it any direction that you like. We've also got the warped wart blocks, which are the ones that you get from, with the hoe from the uh, warped warp stems, and then obviously some warped planks as well to go on top of that. So we're just building up the layers around that, and then we're gonna start putting in the flooring for the actual house itself. Now the flooring for this is be, is some stripped birch and just placing that in any direction that you like. Uh, I chose the stripped birch because it looks quite like the underside of a, a mushroom hood when you actually look at it from beneath. So, um, but if there's another block that you would prefer to use, then feel free to switch these out. Uh, the one thing as well that I do do a bit later that I don't show in is um, I knock out some spaces just to put some shroom lights in the underneath of the mushroom itself 
just so that it shines some light down on the stem and uh, looks even better at night time. Uh, so whilst I'm going around building this, I'm using some cyan stained glass to add in the windows. And there are quite a lot of windows in here, but you can feel free to add more as you wish. Now with some of the steps up that I'm doing, I'm actually using some uh, some of the warped slabs as well. This is just to ease kind of the transition and the curve of the mushroom to make it a bit more bell shaped. Uh, you could also use some stairs around the edge if you wish. Um, but yeah, I found that the slabs look quite good and of course they do make some of those sections mob proof. So as you can see, where you do need to place a temporary block, then I am using the white concrete here. And that's because this roof is stepping in as it gets higher up. And by stepping in, it obviously you need something to be able to place those blocks on the corner against. So to finish off on top, I've put a shroom light up there and I'm going to put a trapdoor on top. That just helps this, the top of this from being uh, spawnable. There is one space that I did notice that I'd uh, left there and you put some planks in there. Now the build is finished, I will quickly take you through uh, a little bit of the interior that I've done. So it's really, really simple. Uh, just some bits like a crafting bench and a chest and some paintings here. Um, just with some lighting on the inside. I've also put some lighting in the floor. But if we go up here, it's just a really, really simple design, as I say. So we've got a sleeping area, got some bookshelves and a bit of storage over here and here in, in two of the little nooks. Obviously, you've got little windows all over the place, so you get lovely little views through uh, to the other builds in the area and uh, yeah you can choose where you want to put the windows if you wanted to put them anywhere else in here but you do get some lovely lovely views uh, just a little smelting area here so you could uh, switch one of these out with a smoker or a blast furnace if you wanted and then just a seating area as well so yeah just a cozy little little house with everything you need somewhere to sit down and a little brewing stand here as well. I've also added in some chains and we've got this uh, the shroom light showing through. I've just put a trapdoor on top of that. So yeah, happy with how this one's turned out. Um, I will now quickly give you a quick view around the outside. Now I am using BSL shaders for this, which I think is a lovely, lovely shader. And one of the things I love about this build is just the, the shape that you get from uh, let's go into a better angle. There we go. It's a shape that you get through uh, the the cap of this mushroom. I've just put another one there just to add to the effect. You just build them in the same way. And as you can see, we've got all of the buttons on the top of the roof just to make sure it's completely spawn proof. So it's completely safe for you there. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like the build. If you want to see more builds in this style, I have got a series going with the uh, with some fantasy style builds here. We've got the uh, a large base here with a villager trading area. We've got a fantasy style nether portal. We've got this, this big house here. And then we've also got uh, over here, we've got a watchtower. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Do check those out if you are interested. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, also let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Above all, make sure that you do subscribe. And I will see you next time on AD Craft. Bye.